Okay, the first thing I want to do here is I want to turn the stop off and make sure the pressure's off the line. So I'm going to check the stop, make sure it's turned off all the way, and I'll double check it by activating the valve. Okay, the next step in the operation is to uh, release the, uh, the nut on the tailpiece and the vacuum tube. So I'm going to uh, loosen these up, just give them, get them free. Okay, now we're going to remove the vacuum tube, removing this nut down here. Okay, with a half inch socket, I'm going to um, loosen up the nuts down on the bottom. Okay, by lifting the, the urinal, remove it from the wall. We got the two hangers for the new urinal, and we have the um, wax seal and the two bolts set for the new urinal to receive the new urinal on the wall. Okay, now we're at the point where we're going to replace the uh, old urinal with the new urinal. We've got the new urinal ready to set in place. We've got the hangers, we've got the wax seal, we've got the bolts, and we're ready to put it on. Now we're at the point where we're going to replace the vacuum tube and we're also going to replace the duct bill which goes inside the vacuum breaker tube. We're going to insert that in the tube and we're going to set it up on the new fixture. We're going to install the new pint urinal valve, uh, less the battery box for now. Insert the new valve into the stop and just um, I like to leave these just slightly loose so I can pivot easily down here onto the vacuum tube and get my valve lined up. Okay, here's the battery box. We're going to insert that to activate the valve. Okay, now we're going to remove the cap and we're going to insert the um, connector here. Make sure we got a good connection. Place the battery box inside the unit and make sure the wires are not pinched. Set your cap back on. Okay, now I'm going to place the two screws on either side. I got a screw on one side and a screw on the other to hold the cap down. Okay, now we're ready to turn the water supply back on. I'm going to take a flathead screwdriver and just slowly Open the stop all the way, and we're going to activate the valve. Okay, to finish up the installation now, we're going to put our tamper-proof cap on over the stop screw. At this facility, we just uh, did a retrofit from a one-gallon system to a pint urinal system. Uh, the difference between this style system and a waterless system uh, is the maintenance. Maintenance on a waterless system requires a cartridge to be changed between, depending on use, between one and three months. Uh, with this system, there's an 88% reduction in flow volume from a one-gallon uh, urinal valve to the pint urinal valve.